integrity constraints not null whenever you have to mention that value cannot be null unique whether the value if the values that you are entering should not should be unique in that particular column okay it should not be repeated in that case you'll be un, using unique primary key will be the that will also be unique by default and you'll be using that key to actually find the values in your table okay so since they will be unique you can use that as a primary key foreign key foreign key is present in our table like there is a primary key in your table and it is the same in the other table as well it is the primary key column that in that case that will be actually the foreign key in that table okay and check so let's discuss them one by one first of all i come to not null it is a constraint that ensures that every row is filled with some value for the column which has been specified as not null so you will be directly using the values that whenever you create all those commands that you have learned till now in that you will be using directly so when you create table name you just have to mention data type and after that you have to mention not null that means this column cannot be null you have to mention the values whenever you use it okay so this is not null moving on we come to unique it is a constraint used for column of a table so that rows of the column should be unique it allows null values also okay but only one time it will take it the value should be unique okay it cannot be repeated now create table table and square name whenever column name you write unique after that that means this column will be unique it will take only unique values primary key it is a constraint used for a column of a table so that you can identify a row in a table okay uniquely that means you you can just pass the primary key and you know that in the in that column you'll don't you won't find any other primary key with the same value so that is why you can use it to reference your table that's correct okay so when you have to mention a column as primary key in that case you bench write primary key after the column name you mention the data type and the, the column name so this is for primary key we come to foreign key so we were on foreign key it is a constraint used to establish a relationship between two columns in the same or different tables okay now for a for a column to be a defined as foreign key it should be a defined it should be defined as a primary key in the table which is referencing okay one or more columns can be defined as foreign key the constraint identifies any column referencing the primary key another table okay that means you have a primary key in one table and if you find all those values in the second table as well then that column in the second table is actually the foreign key of the first table okay so that column in the second table is actually the foreign key right for foreign key also you'll be mentioning like this like you mentioned the primary key it will be the foreign key so let's say table underscore name one this was the table so this is the primary key this column is the primary key of this table now in the second table when you use it when if you use the same column there itself then that same column will can be mentioned as foreign key okay because it is the primary key of create table 